Hello love friends, Dapper Drabby here, and today we are going to go over our first Shining Legends deck, and probably our only GX we have. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can do any other GXs from this set. We have some of the other rares, some of the uncommons, but uh, like I really like Venusaur right now, and I really like um, Arbok right now, and I even attempted a Torkoal deck, that was fun, as you guys saw. Um, so let's go ahead... Let's go over Raichu GX here. So Raichu GX has Powerful Spark. It's basically Dark Rise Attack, as everyone's been saying. Um, it does 20 damage times the amount of electric lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So that can be really uh, added up. Uh, Turbo Dark was has been in the format for years now. Ever since its release, it's been a strong deck. Coming back in different ways and different ways over and over again. Uh, one thing Raichu has over Darkrai is 30 more HP, which with your second attack can be easily taken down right away. Uh, Thunder it does 30 damage to yourself, but does 160 damage to your opponent. Now that with a choice ban can take down um, every basic uh, except for Wishy Washy uh, GX with a choice band and. Um, Anything else that's not that can pretty much be taken out by a Thunder, which is a good one shot, take 30 damage. And then Volt Tail is the GX attack here. For 120 damage, you can paralyze your opponent. So that's also very good. Now we only have two Raichus, so we are playing a bit of a split, which uh, can help with early game attacking. Like you do not want to attack with Powerful Spark early game. Uh, Thunder, you're going to probably attack with Thunder first and then go to Powerful Spark because that's just how it ends up happening. But we'll see what well, how it works for us. So we got two Raichu GXs and we have one Circle Circuit Raichu. Uh, the one from Generations. This is XY Base, but uh, my favorite art of it... Let's play just a Lolan Raichu. Uh, but my favorite art is actually this one of it. So I'm going to play it as that one instead of the... The Generations Radiant Collection instead of the Holographic Circle Circuit. But other than that, you know, here's the rest of the deck. We're going to copy it, of course, and put it down in the description if you guys want to uh, copy, paste it, test it out, or change a few things. Like some people might want Tapu Koko in here instead of some switches, stuff like that. But let's just go over it from the top. We, of course, have that two Raichus and the three Pikachus who are... Uh, Evolve it, but let's start out with our draw support of Oranguru. Um, we instruct that it's just going to be necessary when we run out of cards. We need some that just a little extra draw support, so we're playing one Oranguru. We have uh, one Rayquaza. This is kind of filling that gap of what uh, you're going to see most people be utilizing uh, Raikou from Shining Legends for. Um, Raikou only gives one energy, though. Um, I like Rayquaza. Rayquaza over that because he, it allows you to attach two basic energies from the discard pile rather than one. Does the same damage. Ca attack cost is one more, but it allows you to attach two basic energies. So I just think that's going to be a little more useful than um, Raikou's uh, thing. And, he, and then this is also uh, Rayquaza is also not weak to electric like the rest of us. So in the mirror match, it could come in handy, but maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Um. Actually, completely not, because in the mirror match, it's going to just get hit and demolished. Uh, facing against Lycanroc, Zoroark, it could come in handy. That's what I meant to say. Uh, then we also have uh, Pikachu. Uh, we don't have the new promo one, so we're playing Nuzzle, Quick Attack. That's 60 HP. We have three different arts of it. I think we're playing one of each. Of course, Circle Circuit, I've already showed you guys that. And then Thunderbolt, you don't really want to use, but you can in a bind. And then the big star of the deck, Raichu GX. We went over you already. So let's move on. We have one Raikou here. Shining Body and that Metal Weakness has saved me with this deck and him facing against Metagross. <laughs> Raikou against Metagross. Raikou survives. That's how interesting this card is right here. Because Shining Body, as long as it has an electric energy attached to it, it damage is reduced by 20. Now that... Mixed with, uh, yeah, how did he not knock me out? I must have had something else on him, but Raikou is a tank, and it is great. It helps out. It's a good secondary attack. You can also kind of build up energy on Raikou for those big one-hit KOs if you're feeling like your Raichu is just being a little shy on that 
We have uh, Voltorbs and Electrodes. Now, this is what turns this deck into a turbo version. We have Exploding Balls all over the place. We have four Voltorbs. There's two of these ones, and we're playing two of these ones here. Uh, not really much reason for the switch. They have the same retreat cost, same HP. This has Continuous Tumble, while this other one has Electro Ball. Um, you're not really going to be using Voltorb. Trust me on that. You're going to start with it, but that is so it can absorb a hit, and then you can explode. That's really what Voltorb's use is in this deck, is absorb a hit, evolve, buzz up, thunder, evolve, buzz up, thunder. Now, I was originally playing Electrode for these guys. These guys are pretty much the main portion of this deck. Four Electrodes, so you can blow them up, attach them to Raikou, attach them to Raichu, and get the ball rolling on... Um, those energies so this is two electric energy two lightning energies when you blow them up and that boosts your damage exponentially makes it where right you can actually hit pretty hard on turn two uh, i've tried it this way and i've tried it one other way which i might show might not i'll have to double check if i if i have time tomorrow i can record some of that and uh throw that up as well but for now we're doing this one because it's turbo uh and then which i don't know why i did that uh, we thought about playing one of these, but it's just not as useful as the Buzz Zap Thunder. And then we're finishing off our list with Tapu Lele, three of them, because we want a Wonder Tag turn one. So we have four Ultra Balls, three Tapu Leles, to just increase our chance of being able to turn one Bridget, because we really want to turn one Bridget, get, you know, two Voltorbs, get a Pikachu out, so that we can um, evolve and get those energies up really fast. Um, I've actually really not been able to pull off a turn one Bridget with this deck quite yet, but we have three Tapu Leles in here for that. If you guys don't have Tapu Leles, um, my best suggestion is to get an Octillery line with one of these maybe, and with the other one, uh, maybe make that another Electrode so that you can buzz zap Thunder. Uh, you're, but just so you know, it's going to be a lot slower. You might have to switch counts of everything to get that consistency that you need with Tabu Lele. You might have to take out your switches completely, take out your Super Rod, uh, play like your items would probably only be blowers and elixirs, and that's it. And Ultra Balls, I guess. So, like, it really slows you down if you do not have Lele, but it is possible to still try to make it work. Like I said try to make it work with that... Uh, Late with no leles, but okay. Moving on to the items, we have uh, two field blowers. We want to be able to knock out those stadiums, not let not let people take advantage of them. That could possibly hinder us in the long run. Um, other than that, you know, just knocking out that uh, people hitting right shoe with a choice band can really hurt. So just taking out that choice band to be able to even out the numbers is going to help you out a lot. We play the four of Max Elixirs. Like any turbo deck, we're playing four Elixirs, which generally works pretty well. That mixed with uh, the Electro can really turn up the numbers on Raichu pretty early in the game. So that's what we're trying with four Max Elixirs. We have one Rescue Stretcher in case anything gets um, thrown in the discard earlier. I like it to bring back some Voltorb Electrodes to be able to blow up again. Uh, but that's my primary use for it. It could be used for anything if you have to throw away your Rangaroo or it gets knocked out early. You still need that draw consistency, bring it back. If you throw away a Lele but need it later, Rescue Stretcher it, use it, you know. Super Rod is primarily for those energies. Uh, you could opt for a Brock's Grit, but you usually need to draw with your, uh, supporter every turn. So, trying to throw in a, a recovery supporter is a little more difficult so an item is just fine we play two switches in case something gets trapped in the active which something usually doesn't get trapped in the active but it's it's very useful um just occasionally uh it's we're playing this over flood sun so we can play those guzma plays where we um switch out of the active and then guzma back into the active to choose the right thing but uh, switches are just there to, you know, in case uh, Raichu's heavily damaged and knock out. You could alternate the, you could switch these out for maybe a Tapu Koko if that's a better switching option in your in your mind. Or you could even opt out for, uh, uh, end up going with an Acerola or a Super Scoop up instead of these switches. But I, I'm choosing switches for 
this particular uh, deck profile. Uh, we have four Ultra Balls, like every deck. You want four Ultra Balls to be able to discard two cards from your hand that you don't need and to pull a Pokemon from your deck that you do need. One Bridget. I know most people are going to play two. But one Bridget to get uh, all those basics. We got Voltorbs, Pikachus, Raikous, Orangaroo, Rayquaza. We have so many basics to choose from. Bridget just gets us out anything we want because we're not playing any EXs. So... Everything is basic, can get pulled out. We got three Guzmas just for that ability to, uh, I mean, we're trying to knock out whatever's in front of us, but in case we see something that's a little easier to knock out, we're adding those 250 HP Mons, or if we have, uh, if we almost knocked out, if we almost killed something, but it just has a little bit more HP, you know, Guzma it out and knock, take out that last little bit to take those prize cards. We're playing one Hala because I tend to use right, right choose gx attacks relatively early in the game and i felt like i needed just like one more draw supporter so we ended up we have our full art howl here how Hala here and i thought you know what, why not throw him in there with if nothing else he has an amazing card that i want one day so why not throw him in here uh, we got four ends and four sycamores for consistency you want to be able to draw every single turn so you need to be able to use the best draw supporters in the game pretty simple self explanatory we've got three choice bands to be able to bump up those numbers just a little bit you know it's 20 per energy but 30 if you throw up a choice band on it so it's just that extra little bump i thought about playing some experience shares as well but they kept conking up the deck so i just kind of tossed them out switch it out with something else and then we are finishing it off with 11 uh lightning energies to full out fill out the deck um which 11 may be lo low but it works well enough with max elixirs and then you have your three buzz zap thunders that are going to happen so you don't really have to worry about it that much and let's save it this is turbo chew um we have a, a little in right chew coin Going with the Shining Legends deck box and a Pikachu sleeve. So Turbo Chew, let's see what you do. Uh, we're going to go to the Versus ladder. I have another Raichu deck. Uh, in fact, I think I have it up here, don't I? Uh, then I might show you guys later. It's this, uh, I think it's Dragon Chew is what I called it. There's Vile Chew, I don't think I, that's it. Huh, I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. There it is. So see, I have another one, which is really interesting. But uh, it's unless you get this card right here, it's dead stopped in the wind. Like, you can't, you can't move without that card, which makes it a little more difficult to play around with because you're reliant on one card that you play only two of in your whole deck. Um... But tight is so space is so tight in that deck that it's almost impossible to uh, try to throw an extra dragon air in there. Uh, would I like to go first? Yes, yes, I would like to go first. And this deck is necessary to go first. Oh, we start the lele. Ugh, that's not what you want to see, or you do want to see it, but you want to have at least a Voltorb with you. How do I start Lele? I have three Pikachus, three Voltorbs, a plethora of other basics. There's an Electrode. Yikes. Just yikes. I mean, I could toss everything here, but that's not going to help me. Mm, it's not going to hurt me. That's two of my ends, though. They don't have anything else. Let's go ahead and Sycamore. I know, I'm like double thinking it already. Are you kidding me? Why am I getting so screwed? So let's throw out a, uh, a field blower and a Guzma to get you a boy. Uh, yeah, we have another Lele and we have Bridget. So we already played a supporter. So that's not going to help us anymore. But uh, I think... I think I'll grab a Voltorb. Since we can evolve that next turn. And I guess I'll finish it off there. 
because we probably want to get this buzz zap done done real fast. Um, you know, give our opponent that prize card, but also like save ourselves from. Uh, apparently, I should have. I should have end. So we got Coco, Alolan Vulpix, and Rimmerade. So is this a Water Nine Tails deck or is it a Metagross deck? Because we resist Metagross. Pretty sure it's a Nine Tails. Now that I'm seeing three Vulpixes. But three Vulpixes can be literally in any deck. Vulpix is sprinkled everywhere. That little powdered snow. <laughs> no, the no, powdered snow one is not played. It's the beacon. The beacon. Octillery Nine Tails. So now we know it is a Nine Tails GX deck. So how can we pull this off? We got a Pikachu, finally. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... No, I wanted to hit that. We'll throw that down and in. Get rid of those two cards you just pulled. And look, we get an Oranguru. So I don't know how, with how much energy we play, we do not end up getting in our hand too much. It's kind of surprising. And I don't remember, did I play Pikachu this turn or in last turn? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and risk it, I guess. I'm gonna throw these two back in here to get that extra energy. Ultra Ball. And get that Raichu. Okay, I evolved Pikachu this turn. We're gonna instruct for two more cards. Of course, we get the Bridget. Um. How much damage can you do? Now I'm gonna save it. Need top to uh, take up one more hit. If we get end, we get end. I understand. So, you gotta take that risk sometimes. I mean, I would normally just max elixir onto the Oranguru. Ooh, that makes it a little more fun right there. Because that Nine Tails cannot get hit by a GX. So we either need to learn how to turn off the abilities or something. So yeah, what they just did, that's fine with me. Especially since we can bridge it right now. And pull out the Raikou. We can probably pull out the Rayquaza as well, and another Pikachu. Oh, I forgot that I, I probably need something to be able to attack with, right? So... I think we're just gonna wait this turn. We're gonna start powering up the Raikou here. Throw a Choice Band on it, because why not? And our opponent does not have any tool cards, so we will sit on this hand. Should have uh, should have grabbed a Voltorb over that Pikachu though, so that if I would draw a uh, thank you for the end, so that if I draw an Electrode, I could have thrown it down, buzz zapped it, and thrown the Raikou out there to knock out uh, Nine Tails pretty easily. Yep, just like that. A Pikachu was a mistake. Okay, there goes uh, two items. They have not found their Octillery yet, though. Thank you for taking that hit, Lele. Hmm. Is it on nine tails? Yeah, it's on nine tails. So what I'm gonna do here is actually Guzma up the Rimmerade and 
I guess quick attack it. It's stuck either way, so why not get some damage done? So this is where if I had my uh, red shoe, I could evolve and just start ramming through. Because 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, it'd be hitting for 120 already. Let's see what Perez JM1 does. Attach an energy to Ninetales. And what else? I think it's gonna have to be a pass. Sycamore, okay, looking for that floodstone. We would have accepted an N as well. And there goes that artillery. Gets out of that paralysis that was not there. I think artillery is still stuck in the active though. So I don't think they have a float stun. Are they do? Ah, no, they evolve into another nine tails. Searching for that float stun. Yep, doesn't surprise me. Oh, we're stuck too, though. But we can throw an energy on this. Uh, only thing I'd really do is Guzma out the the nine tails with energy on it and knock it out. So there we take one prize card and try to get even up with the prizes. It is a Voltorb. So yeah, see massive misplay on my part for not picking a Voltorb over that Pikachu. Second Pikachu was unnecessary. Aqua patches, bringing those water energies back up onto the nine tails with the float. And it is ready to go, ready to knock out this Raikou. Just gotta get that float. Was that it? No, an Ace of Roller though, very nice. I'm okay with that, because the threat of uh, that nine tails is knocked out. So this should be a close game with Ninetales GX here, but I think we're going on the defensive here due to that. Ninetales is done, so we have to we have to one shot this Ninetales in order to do anything, um, because otherwise it's just going to damage change. I think we'll put the Lele up here. Throw an extra energy on it. And yes, I know we could have uh, just got whatever supporter we wanted, but felt more important to me to throw down that uh, Voltorb. So see, now they won't damage chain us. They will uh, snipe some damage, which I don't think anything is easily sniped. Aqua patch onto the other Alolan Ninetales, probably. I oh, know, on the Volfix. Interesting. Oh, they're trying to power up the anti EX one. Do they have it, though? Is the question. That's the one thing, uh. That is the one thing I would say, um. Raichu is missing is something like Aqua patch to just flood energies onto the board. Like Keldeo must be amazing right now in Expanded because you can just, there's so many ways to get water energy on the board. And there is that Ninetales back again from the past. Guzma out probably the Vulpix with energy on it. I mean not the Vulpix, the mm, Pikachu with energy on it. Which, that's big, that's 60 damage from us right now. We gotta throw up something that can attack. 
Like the Voltorb. Evolve Voltorb. What do we want back here? Probably... Yeah, we have five energies in here. That's bad. Probably two energies. And Raikou. I'm going to start attaching to Rayquaza. Draw one for a Ranger. It is a Voltorb. Uh, that's something we could blow up, but let's blow up the other one first. So let's go ahead and grab an energy, grab a uh, supporter here. We're probably just going to grab a Sycamore here. And uh, throw it all away. I'm going to see if we draw anything. Uh, yes, we can evolve Raichu right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's buzz zap. And we can't put the other uh, Voltorb down right now because it will not work. Let me see, who do I want to sacrifice here? Pretty low on cards. Let's go ahead and buzz zap. It's gonna be like a final stand. Choose a Pokemon to be active. Let's let's uh, sack off uh, a Ranguru here. And throw down the Raikou. And I think we have to finish there. We're probably going to lose this match. We gave them two prize cards. And other than that, uh, we're getting walled by this uh, Lola Ninetales from the theme deck. How much do we have left on this Ninetales? 150. We can probably hit that. With two more energies, I believe. So they're going to go after Lele right now. Like hardcore, go after Lele. And... Okay. Anything we can grab that'll work. We don't need Circle Circuit, I don't think. Although it could be useful in this matchup, actually. Yeah, if I had a Ninja Boy, a Ninja Boy, uh, a Lele into Pikachu. Which actually that wouldn't work either because that's 80 damage on it. If I got rid of two cards here. How many Pikachus do I have in here? One. I have four Pikachus. Never mind, no, I don't. <laughs> the other two Pikachus are buried, I guess. Um. That lets me know nothing else is in my deck. There's nine cards. And we're going to have to wait till Orangaroo is taken out. Aqua Patch. Yes, we want to take out that Ninetales so much. Choice Band, Abysmal Hand. And Ninetales takes out a Rangaroo. Down to one prize. We're going to promote Rayquaza here. Let's see if we can bring this back at all. Throw another energy on to... Mr. Raichu. Just weaken it up a little bit, bring out two back of these energies, put them onto Raikou. 
they're pretty sure they have the game next turn. They just gotta retreat into uh, Nine Tails. Which, yeah, just cost them one water energy. I'll give them a well played. We'll see if they do that. Yep. And then knock out Rayquaza. They were in a good position. No matter what I did, I was kind of not going to be able to do anything about it. But the deck stayed consistent. Uh, we weren't even able to utilize um, Raichu. As you can see, the Raikou took a... And so that's how you lose with this deck. But let's see if we can play again and actually take a win. So this is going to be a little bit longer video. I know I usually just do one match, open some packs, and run. But uh, we're going to try a little bit longer of a video and see if this Raichu deck can kind of do better than it did. The answer is no. answer is no, not at all. Yes, I would like to go first, but I highly doubt I'm going to beat a fighting deck. So see, this is a more uh, better start for you, I would say, than that last match was. You want to start a Voltorb. It really, really helps when you start Voltorb. Okay, switch. We can um, Ultra Ball away, a switch, and an energy. Get out a Tapu Lele to grab that Bridget. Just want to make sure both are in there before you start swinging. And Tapu Lele a Bridget. Go ahead and Bridget, bringing out Pikachu, Rayquaza, and a Rangaroo. Probably not Rayquaza. We'll bring out a Voltorb and an Orangaroo. There we go. We can throw... Choice Band on the Pikachu. Attach an Energy to the Pikachu. Orangaroo for one. It's a Choice Band. Hang on to that choice band. In turn, let's see what the fighting deck has in store for us. Literally, a carbink break would demolish us right now. Brooklet Hill. So see, the, here's here's where you could have the argument of you should just play all Raichu GXs instead of one of the Circle Circuit ones because I seem to keep finding the Circle Circuit and not the GX ones. I don't know why the, uh, what is it called? I guess the, uh, the, yeah, the game, the game decides to shuffle my deck that way where it just gives me the right regular Raichu over the GX. But, uh, that seems to be the, the, the number, the algorithm, or whatever they utilize to be able to uh, pull these, pull which which card is pulled from the top. Of course, I'm, I'm sure it's hard to program a card game like this, where it's just like it has to follow certain rules, and with how many cards have been made, to follow all those rules at the same time. No wonder they have so many um, fixes. So many uh, updates all the time, or banned temporary banned uh, cards because they're not they're not uh, doing the right thing. So this looks like pure lichen rock car bank. Fun. Now I don't think I want to keep this ride here right now um, because I plan on blowing up my bench. We want this ride here right now. And we're gonna keep a. Uh... We don't have any fighting. Uh, we're gonna keep a supporter for next turn, but I think that supporter is going to be Hala. 
We're going to go ahead and buzz zap Thunder here right now. We have two of them in the deck, win the prize. Buzz zap. Give them one prize card, and uh... Who should I attach this to? I think the only choice here is to attach it to Brightshu. Give them one prize card, and then put Brightshu in the active here. Let's draw one card and see what we get. Another choice band. That's three choice bands, like almost in a row. And here we do, with the powerful spark, we do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which is enough to knock out carbink. So we can probably avoid doing damage for ourselves and avoid the paralysis and just utilize. Um, although, the one good part about using Volt Tail right now is because. Uh, this because it allows us to use Hala next turn. So let's just use Voltail. This is a weird, weird call, I know. But it uh, gets us one prize card, which is that Buzz Zap Thunder we needed to boost this damage even quicker. And to Hala next turn. I know those aren't the usual uh, choices for when to utilize your GX attack, especially since you knock out the thing anyways. It's more for like two shots on those Lycan rocks. But I'm guessing that if I can get this all figured out before that Lycan rock gets any energy on it, um, we'll be able to take the lead and start running. So here's a pretty good hand. Guzma in Sycamore, Electric Energy, Electric Energy. So we can make it work, though. We can make it work if, especially, nope. I said, especially if we top deck a Raikou, nope. Or we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw that Electrode down. Put a Lightning Energy on the Oranguru. It could come in handy later, even though it's weak. Uh, part of me wants to... I do think that's the best play. It sounds weird, but it sounds it looks like the best play. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, uh, 170. That looks like the best play. This might be doing something entirely stupid right now. But it looks like the best play. Yeah, with that choice band, we do 190 damage. Get those two prize cards. There's our Raikou. No wonder we couldn't find it. So that's weird. You lose two water and beat fighting. I know it's a tier, tier list, right? Facing Nine Tails versus facing Lycan Rock are two completely different things. But here's going to really hurt us here, um, you know, because uh, Carbink, it's going to be hitting weakness with that energy right there, and they're finally going to get those Lycan Rocks ready to go. Oh, they conceded, though. So we'll leave it off right there. Um, I'll probably record another match with the other Raichu deck I have. This one is very can really set up the damage pretty quickly though so I like this one a little better if you guys really want to attempt a ride shoe you know you want to go with the turbo you know try to get those powerful sparks turned up real fast but uh and electrode seems to be the way to do it but down at the end of the game it really really shortens the game so you know it says prize cards taken two for him but that was I blew up two electrodes so, thank you Sasquatch for a game. <laughs> Let's see if we have any packs we could open up here. And like I said, I'm going to do a separate video for the, the Dragon Shoe. What do I have here? Collection. 
What have I already redeemed? Packs. We have 10 Burning Shadows. That's a lot. 3 Guardians Rising, 1 Sun and Moon, and some stuff way down here at the end. Let's see, we have 10 Uncommon Chests. Let's open up those first. Because, you know, they're... I'm actually surprised 5 of them are tradable. Hey, it's a Rayquaza. Nice. Oh, I should have just said open up another one, yes. Uh, old Amber Aerodactyl. Another treasure chest, five more coins. It is a talent flame rare. I thought you usually got older cards in these. It is a Cobalion. And a DCE. There's the first five. I could hope for more DCEs from Evolutions. I like those. There's an old card, Lapras. A slow bro reverse foil. I didn't know they did that. A Lord Helix. Lord Helix. Okay, two more to go. A Flaffy. So underwhelming. And our last one is probably going to be underwhelming as well. And that is. Ooh, I think it's a rare. And the verdict is, it is a Spirit Tomb, that damage play. So let's go back over here. We will open up those three Guardians Risings. Um, I know they're tradable, but Guardians Rising is just always fun. Let's see what this Alola Ninetales gives us. Oh, Machop, that Pan Cham, Snow Runt, Mallow, and our rare is a Lilligan. <laughs> Should have traded that pack. And our rare is a Heliois. Should have traded that pack. And our last pack, Magic, comes to an end with some beacon action, reverse foil rare, a wishy cash, wish cash, and our rare is Sharpedo. Yes, should have traded all those packs. You have one Sun and Moon, why not? One Sun and Moon, why not? What does the base set have for us today? Growlithe, DCE, Rare Candy, and Kangaskhan. Okay, I forgot that you were rare on that. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, we're going to probably throw out another video of, uh, you know, uh, of Shining Legends soon. Primarily going to probably go with Venusaur because it is amazing. I have a couple of Entes I could mess around with. For alligator, I'm, I'm probably going to do some of these smaller things first. Raichu is really the only big GX I pulled. Um, so, yeah. I also have like a new map shadow list I'm trying to mess around with as well. So, thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby, and I'll be.